Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on some updates to Tangent Templates. We have a lot more on the way as well. Isaac and I have our heads down. We are working solidly on improving and building all your suggestions into Tangent Templates. So the first thing I want to let you guys know about is that we have A4 as a standard option now in all our interiors. So when you go to create any interior file, including the dynamic templates, so if we go and create a planner right here, you'll see there's now an 8.27 by 11.69 size. And that is A4, which is pretty much the European UK standard that they use, just like we use US letter size in the US. So we've included that for all our European users, for anyone looking to sell in Europe, as it's another of the standard sizes now offered by KDP. So the other thing I wanted to let you guys know about is that we have updated the listing helper. So it's a little bit more powerful. We have added categories to it. And let me show you quickly how this works. So the listing helper is a tool in Tangent Templates that allows you to store information on your books. And what it lets you do is actually upload this information very quickly to KDP. So here's a listing I was working on for this book, Stargazing, Tracking the Stars. It's a low content book, a journal for putting information about what is in the night sky, what you're observing in the night sky. So I've been working on this listing in Tangent Templates. I put my title in, subtitle, there's my description. And of course, the description has the basic HTML that Amazon allows. I've also added keywords to this. So I have things like astronomy, space, telescope. I can go in here and add in anything else I think of. If I wanted to put in like planetary as a keyword, I can go in and add that. And you'll see we have here scan keywords for categories. I'm going to revisit that in just a moment. But first, I want to show you this. So if you look here, we have a category selection. So let's go in and choose our categories. Now, first of all, I just want to show you how you would normally do this in KDP. So if we were typing our listing directly into KDP's website, this is the category bar that you're used to. So you'd probably go nonfiction. And then you'd have to browse through here and open up all the different sections. So it would have science and then you probably browse through there. We have given you two ways to search through categories. So we'll go back to tangent templates and we're going to say category one. And the first method we give you to find categories is kind of similar to KDP's method where you just browse through and drill down. So you can say nonfiction and then you can look for science. And then you could browse through until you find space science. So that works in kind of a similar way to KDP, although it's kind of nice having it all on the big page like that, rather than having to open up lots of drop downs. You can view everything directly. The second method we've given you is, I think, a lot easier. You can go in here and you can actually search for something like astronomy, for example. There we go. We put, we put in astro and it's come up with astrology, <laughs> gastroenterology, different subject and astronomy. So I'm just going to choose astronomy and select this category. So you can see we have our two categories selected. And now I'm just going to save that as one of our listings. OK, so now if we go over to KDP, you can see how this works. So here we are. This is KDP's dashboard. And you can see it's a big blank form all ready for you to fill out all this information. So all we're going to do is go to list helper. And there we are. We have stargazing, which is the profile we just set up in tangent templates. I'm going to select that. And you can see it actually takes a moment to fill in the categories. It does that for you automatically. I'm not touching anything there. I just did one click in the list helper to select stargazing. And this is what it's done. So it's filled in book title, tracking the stars, it's added in an author. There's the description with HTML built in and you have the keywords and boom, there are the categories. So all you have to do now is just save and continue and 
it makes uploading a book to KDP very fast, very easy. And the great thing is you can reuse these profiles. So if you're making multiple stargazing journals, maybe in different sizes, maybe in slightly different niches, like you're making one for kids or you're making like one for one demographic, one for another, then you, you can easily reuse this information, just edit it, to tailor it to your new audience. So like if you were making a teacher's edition, for example, we could go in here and just change the title and add teacher's edition add a little bit to the description. And again, then you can just upload that straight to KDP. So it makes the upload process a lot quicker, especially if you have multiple books that are quite similar. We always say don't spam, like don't make hundreds of books that are super similar. It's not the best strategy with KDP. And often you'll find they don't sell if you make hundreds of books that are very, very similar. Make your books thoughtful is my recommendation. I mean, everyone has their own business model. But I find thoughtful, high quality books tailored for audiences is really the best direction I've found. And hopefully this tool makes that very easy for you. So if you have tangent templates and you're, you're not finding the category browser, you can just check you are on the right version. Just go up here to the listing helper icon on your Chrome extension bar here. And what you're gonna do is just right click manage extensions and make sure you're on version 0.1.6. As long as you're on version 0.1.6, you should have access to the category browser. Now, one other thing we have added to the listing helper for categories, and this is really, really cool. If you look at the keywords, you'll see that we've used things like astronomy, space, telescope. Now, there is a secret with KDP and Amazon. And that is that they look at your keywords. And sometimes if you use certain trigger keywords, they will add your book to additional categories, which is awesome. You can also get added to categories by emailing Amazon directly. You just email KDP support at amazon.com. There's a hyphen between KDP and support, but you can actually email them and request categories but they also have these categories that you can only access by having certain keywords. And what they do is if you have those keywords in your listing, they may add you to those additional categories. Now it's a little bit hit and miss. They don't always do it, but we have given you a tool that scans through your keywords and tells you if there are categories that you are eligible to be added to. So let's see what it comes up with on our listing. So I'm going to hit scan keywords for categories and boom, based on the keywords you have chosen, KDP may add your book to the following additional categories. So it's picked up on astrology and it wants to add your book to personal growth astrology. It's picked up on meditation. It wants to add your book to a meditation subcategory. And it's also added a couple of astronomy. Actually, that's, I think that's the same path. It's picked up on, oh, astronomy and space and wants to add you to this one. And also mystery, thriller and suspense, outer space. Now, don't worry if those don't fit your book perfectly. It's KDP's decision to make and you probably want to hold on to your keywords. But it's just an FYI that your book may also be added to those categories. So there we go, guys. A few additions to tangent templates. We've added the A4 sizes. We've added the ability to select categories in the listing helper. So now when you go and list your book on KDP, it auto fills everything, including categories. And we've also added the keyword categories. So let us know what you think. We are constantly working on tangent templates. We have a long list of things we are hoping to get out there soon. We're working on new template interiors and much, much more. So thanks for supporting Tangent Templates. Do come and join our group. It's at facebook.com slash groups slash Amazon Create Space. But of course, we talk about KDP and you'll be very welcome there. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.